A boat ride across the waters of the marina brings us to the Lagos Deep Offshore Logistics Base, known as LADL, to witness an important event along with a mixed group of people. It's the arrival and birth of Egina, a floating, production, storage and offloading vessel, FPSO. Staff of the Nigerian Ports Authority, financier of the project Total, and Ladol are here to watch it come in. The Egina is special for several reasons. This is the largest um, vessel of this nature, I think, in the whole of Africa. It has the capacity to produce over 200,000 barriers of crude oil daily. Back at a reception in honor of this momentous event, the managing director of the Nigerian Ports Authority, who is delighted about the amount of business the vessel will attract, says NPA has the capacity to handle a vessel of this size. The NPA has embarked on massive investment, which includes the purchase of four new tugboats, the dredging and maintenance, the maintenance dredging of all our channels, as well as a campaign for the removal of wrecks across all our waterways. The huge vessel is not yet completely built. Twelve of its expected 18 modules built in South Korea are what's visible now. What's most interesting is that the six remaining modules are being fabricated in Nigeria. It is the largest vessel that is having a significant portion of its fabrication being done in Nigeria. So it's a significant milestone for us in the country when you look at our local content policy. We believe that this is the first of many. There will be many more FPSOs that will be fabricated in Nigeria. The vessel is expected to spend six months at the Ladol Free Trade Zone while the six top side modules are being fabricated on it. It will be kept and protected in local waters by the NP. Yeah.